Yo guys, Moose here, and in today's video for Top 5 Tuesday, we're going to be doing the Top 5 Worst Zombie Maps. A few weeks ago, we did Top 5 Zombie Maps. So let's just get straight into this. So the first map, I mean, coming in at number 5, we have Die Rise. Now the only problem I see with Die Rise is just that there's no PhD. On a map like Barry, and I'm married, oh my gosh. On a map like Die Rise that really, really needs PhD, it's just not there. Another thing is, I, I always, like, buying a perk and pack-a-punching, it's just such a pain because it, it's in the elevators, and let's just face it, if you pack a punch and it goes up the elevator, your gun is gone. Uh, another thing is you have this liquefier, and that sometimes you can't even pack, like, not sometimes, I mean at all, you can't even pack a punch it at all. Which, and, I don't know, probably pretty, you know, just like, just liquefier, and they also nerfed it. And also, at some times, the map can be a little bit too easy, with the bank and everything. I just, the map is just not, not, not a good map, in my opinion. Coming in at number four, we have Shinonuma. Now, the only problem with Shinonuma is... It's first of all, you gotta admit, it's one of the first maps that was ever made, so it's not terrible. But one thing I see with it is that the replayability value, kind of like with Kino and Totten, it's just, I, I can play it once, and then I'm just done. I, I can't play it more than like, tw like, more than like once. It's, the maps, they're not fun. I mean, World at War, I mean, I, like I said, it's one of the first maps ever made, so it's not gonna have the most coolest features, but still. The map itself is not the best. The replayability, the replay of the replayability value is very, very low, and it's I can only play it once without stopping. So that's pretty much. I don't know about me, but that's that's. Just, I mean, I, oh my gosh, I don't know about you. That's just me. I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> moving into number three, we have five. Now five, I actually only play this map like tw like uh, maybe like. 12 times like I haven't played it too many times maybe that's the reason why it, it's on this list but I just never found it to be a fun map I mean the characters are great don't don't get me wrong we got all right we got KF I mean oh my god JFK uh, you know we have all I don't even know I don't even know the characters on that map I don't usually play it but that map is just I mean like maybe the only reason I haven't played it is because when I do play it I it's just Maybe it's just hard. I don't know. I need to. I, I might actually go back and play five more often. But the f problem with five with me is sometimes it's just hard and annoying and hard to get. I don't even know. I really should go back and play five. But for now, I played it. I played it quite a few times. And the only problem I see with it is that sometimes it, get, it gets hard. Like, and the wonder weapon is a winter's howl, and it's not even that good. Uh. I don't know, it just, it's just, I don't, I just don't like the map 5, it just doesn't fit me. But the next map, no, coming in at number 2, you guys might be a little bit surprised about this, and you probably might think it should be number 1, but I think that come, number 2 is Transit. Now, again, I know it's the second one on this list, but I don't understand why all they hate with Transit, I mean, I understand yeah, it's a horrible map, but I mean, it's really not that bad. I mean, obviously it's a horrible map probably the worst one but it's not like terribly like horrible unbearable <laughs> gobble gum but it's, it's not unbearable like I can play the map it's, it's pretty hard to get set up but you know you you know you got it like once you get it once you get it starting it started it's not too bad of a map but the reason it's not number one is because there is a different map that I think is probably I bought the map and from the start I knew when they first like announced it like from the start I just knew that this map was gonna be just like a screw up and total like not gonna be not gonna work out at all especially because this was not even a zombies map to start we have nuketown zombies like I said when I first heard nuketown zom like nuketown zombies was coming I knew that it was just not gonna work out because nuketown is a multiplayer map and it coming in as a, as a zombies map, it's just not gonna work out unless they expanded the map, which clearly they didn't. And some, like I said, the perks randomly drop from the sky, and you're probably at some times not gonna get jugged to around 25. I mean, not 20. It might, I think it's 20, but it's, it's uh, it might actually might be 25. Like that's ridiculous. And like the only way I can see them fixing this map 
I mean, I doubt they'll make it bigger, but the only way I see them fixing this map is simply making the perks be already on the map. That would be great. That's pretty much it. I know, obviously, my opinion is probably completely different to yours. Please leave them in the comments. I'd love to read them. I read the ones for the top five drops, I think. I read the ones for the top five zombie maps, but... I don't think there were a lot of drop ones, but there might have been, I'm not really sure, but I definitely read your comments. Please give me your opinion and let me know, uh, you know, in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.